COVID had just hit and I had just wrapped up some work on Beamed with Franco and was trying to figure out how I was going to stay relevant in a world without conventions. Uh, I conveyed this to Chris and, you know, he was... <laughs> I don't understand. I've been doing live drawing segments here and there uh, on Facebook, trying to get kids uh, interested in art while school wasn't going on and they were remote learning. I figured having a friend to help me keep motivated would be a good idea, so I reached out to my longtime friend and illustrator, Chris Gugliotti. I remember when Jason came to me with this idea. I told Chris I wanted to draw for people. You want to draw for people? And I was like, heck yeah, I do. I want you to come up here each week. We'll sit, we'll hang out, we'll work on art, we'll talk to the people on the internets. I'll do the design work, set up the internet stuff, do animations, and all you have to do is show up every week to my house. I don't travel. So I'm like, I know, buddy. You told me last week you spent like 30 hours on your Animal Crossing Island, that's cool. And he's like, That was just yesterday. That was just yesterday. So I told him we could do it remotely, and hopefully there wouldn't be too many technical difficulties. I even discussed having guests, maybe people uh, who hadn't really been in the public eye a lot lately. Meatloaf, Louis Anderson. Obviously we had no idea we'd lose both of those legends within a week of each other. I'll never forget when we started doing the Michael Caine bits. Chris was like, If Michael Caine dies tomorrow, it's your fault. Finally, I talked him into doing the show, and the rest is history. I think he only had, like, one stipulation. Like, could my name be really big? He's like, you got it. And that's how it became the Jason May Drug Clubhouse. Happy 100 episode, everybody. Yay! Okay.